G'day YouTube, this is just a quick distro review on the latest released Linux Lite version 2.8 that's just come out very very recently. Now uh, just getting into it, so in terms of the philosophy or as a bit of a background on the distro, it's, uh, it's actually a, a very beginner friendly Linux distribution based on Ubuntu's long term support release. So currently, based on Ubuntu Linux 14.04 LTS, and is skewed towards introducing Microsoft Windows users to a Linux environment. Now, the desktop environment, as you can see, is, uh, or as you can most likely see anyway, is XFCE version 4.10, and it's rebranded a little bit to be uh, somewhat of a, a Linux Lite variety version, but. Um, much of a muchness there I guess in terms of uh, related to regular XFCE desktop environments. Now a little bit further everyone likes to know the uh, the folders or the file manager should I say. Let's have a look it is Thuna it should be there we go Thuna 1.6.3 so fairly lightweight you know robust I suppose and uh, it does the basics it's not heavily overly featured but it will do what you want it to do. Uh, moving on, we have the Linux kernel, which I think I noticed was shown around here somewhere. So this is something actually quite cool I like about Linux Lite. Let's just say I'll close that down and you can see here we've got Lite Control Center. So it looks like the HAL 3000 a bit there, but uh, we can open it up and you've got a lot of options here which will bring me back to the Linux kernel and here we go. Linux 3.19, so that is the latest Linux kernel release for Ubuntu and the Ubuntu varieties like this uh, distro that I'm having a quick review of at the moment. Uh, now it's not the latest kernel which is 4.2 but uh, it has the latest security patches uh, and pretty solid a pretty solid release especially for older hardware anyway as well now the architectures that you can get this in you can actually get it in both 64 and 32 bits or the x86 architectures so not a problem there uh, really you know handy for throwing on your old laptop of course that kind of thing uh, moving on more, we have the software. So let's have a quick look at the software. Now something I just generally don't get into too much with reviews, but it's got all the basic stuff including a few graphical applications. It's even got GIMP there, as you can see, Firefox web browser, uh, Thunderbird as the mail client, and a few little media applications. And not to uh, not to mention the VLC actually media player which is great to see a lot of Linux distributions these days using this as the one of the default media players so I like to see that a lot and of course last but not least we have uh, LibreOffice which should be LibreOffice doesn't quite say it there but if we were to click on it LibreOffice 5 great so that's good to see as well there actually loaded up pretty quickly I didn't mind that at all so uh, the update method as you can expect is apt so when you're installing something just like Ubuntu you'll type in sudo apt install this or that and the package manager is the dpkg package manager so as with Ubuntu as well so overall it's a uh, it's a fairly solid lightweight Linux distribution for beginners etched towards the desktop user environment more so and uh, people with generally older hardware can just throw it on their old laptop, that kind of thing, which I would, uh, which, you know, I'm, I'm actually thinking about doing. I do like this distro. And uh, yeah, based on the Linux community, this is actually quite a popular distro. It's approximately the, with somewhere within the top 20 of Linux, popular Linux distributions. And I can see why. It's, uh, it's fairly lightweight, it's fairly fast, fairly easy to use. It will run on old hardware, that kind of thing, as I've mentioned. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, guys. Just a quick over, overview, just a quick look at the latest uh, released Linux Lite 2.8 distribution. So cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, any questions, uh, leave me a comment down below. Ciao.